Welcome to this quick introduction on how to use Symbiota. Once you have a lot of colleagues and collaborators on the go, this is what it looks like when you sign in. The first thing you notice when you sign in is the recent activity feed. This is where you see the actions of your colleagues and collaborations. Actions include profile updates, creation of lab book entries, DNA sequences, new projects, and much more. This feed provides you with full awareness of the people in progress within the projects that you are part of. All data lives within projects. You can navigate to your projects by using either the link in the navigation bar or by this column on the right. I will now navigate to the open project called Sarin Gas Biosensor. This takes me directly to the project lab book. Here I can see all of the lab book entries created by myself and all of my collaborators. In this case, I have eight collaborators in the project hailing from several different continents. To add a new collaborator, I click add where after I can enter a person's name if they are already a Symbiota member, or an email address which will send that person an email notification. Moving back to the lab book, I can search through existing entries using text search or order by importance, by tags, contributor, entry type, or even data type. In order to add or edit a DNA sequence, I navigate to the Sequences tab. If I click Add a new sequence, Gentle2 opens and I can load a sequence from several different sources. Gentle can load many different file types, some of which include Sybil, GenBank, and Vasta. Once loaded, I can edit the sequence, change the name and description, analyze for restriction sites, or translation in different reading frames. And ultimately, I can export to my computer or save to Symbiota. Once back in Symbiota, I refresh and I see my new sequence. Lastly, I navigate to the activity feed, which pertains specifically to this project. This is where I can see and quickly access all activity for this project. For example, I can click on the DNA sequence link I just created to directly view that work. Now that you've seen an active project populated with real data, let's create a project that you can get going. Add a title and a description. Choose whether you want this project to be private or open access. If you choose open access, you must choose between one of six Creative Commons licenses. Click to create. If I want to create a new entry, I do this by clicking the new entry type. For an experiment, I would add a title and tags. and enter in text. I can drag and drop data, images, movies, all directly into the text box, or I can drop them in the side column. When I'm finished, I click Save and Close. The more data and lab book entries you have, the more you'll realize the utility of Symbiota. As you move forward in your research, Symbiota will ensure that your projects and data can be used and built upon by others. 